In this segment, I'd like to show you how to graph an equation such as 5y minus 35 is equal to 0. Now, I want to graph this equation, and we're in the material that is asking us to graph on an xy plane. So I know this is technically a two-variable equation. It's just the variable that's not showing in this equation had a coefficient of 0. So 0 times the x, the variable that's not here, is why the x variable is not showing. Now, in order to graph this, the easiest thing to do when you just have your one variable in the equation that you're asked to graph is to go ahead and solve for that variable, whichever variable you have. In this equation, I have the variable y. I don't have any fractions or parentheses. My equal sign is here. My only term with my y is the 5y. So this minus 35 that doesn't have the y variable, I want to move to the other side. So we will add 35 to both sides. And we get 5y is equal to 35. And then we'll divide both sides by 5 and get that y is equal to 7. So this is an equivalent equation that we can graph that will have the same solutions that the original equation had. Now graphing this one, I want to make my xy chart. And remember when we had two variables, we had to pick a value for one of the variables, record it, plug that number in for that variable, and solve for the other variable's value based on that choice. And then make another choice and do the same process again, so that we could generate our two ordered pairs that we could plot as our two points and then connect them for our line. For this equation, I only have one of the variables in the equation I'm asked to graph. And so I have to have the choice in that variable's column what the equation says it has to be. So because this equation says y is equal to 7, I have to put 7 on, in the y column. And because I want two points to determine my line, I have to have two ordered pairs that would have a y coordinate of 7. Now, this equation doesn't have any conditions on the x value, so I can place whatever number I want to put in the x column for these ordered pairs. So let's put a negative 1 for our x and maybe a 3 for our x. So we have an ordered pair, negative 1 comma 7, that makes this equation true, and another ordered pair, 3 comma 7. Let's go ahead and graph these. For negative 1 comma 7, from the origin, we'll go left 1 and then up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For the next ordered pair, it's 3 comma 7. So we will go right 3, 1, 2, 3, and up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now connecting these two points, we get the e graph of our equation, which is 5y minus 35 is equal to 0. We have just graphed that equation.